First, you want to sit with in a comfortable position. Um, you can sit like this on the floor. You can use a cushion or a mat, a pillow. If you have back issues, you can sit on a chair as long as your feet is touching the floor and you're able to sit in an upright position. Technically, you can do this laying down, but I suggest not to because it's very easy to fall asleep. Um, but really, you know, the easiest way is to find a comfortable position sitting. Your legs, you can do, you know, whichever position that works for you. There's many different ways. In, you know, classic Zen meditation, you can do a half lotus with one leg over the other. You can do a full lotus where the bottom feet comes and pokes through. I'm not very good at it, but maybe you can see a little bit. Or Burmese is where this leg is just kind of sitting right up front, okay? Or you can just do a classic Indian style, like how you used to sit as a kid, just like that. That's, that's the way that I like, okay? Um, and you want to try to sit up straight with your spine as straight as possible, all right? And your head, you want relatively your chin tucked in just a little bit because that will help the alignment of the spine. In your hands, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. This is more of the classic Zen way. You can go like this. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're in a comfortable position, your chest is open, your back is straight, and your head is slightly tucked. Okay? And then from here, you can also either keep your eyes fully closed, you can keep them slightly opened, staring at a spot on the floor, about 45 degrees. That's also the classic Zen way. Um, or you can sort of alternate. It really doesn't matter. Find what works for you. I like to keep my eyes closed um, because that's the most comfortable for me. But in the beginning, it actually was easier for me to keep my eyes open because focusing on the point helped me to quiet my mind because when you close your eyes, it's really easy for thoughts to come in. But play with it and maybe you'll get better at it. So from this position, if you're following along, um, go ahead and just take some nice and big deep inhales and through your nose you can exhale out through your mouth I like to start this way a couple of times it really helps me to get into sort of the mood the mode of meditating and my body just naturally learns to relax now after you do those couple of big deep inhales try to just breathe naturally through your nose and again you may have to take a few big inhales and once you just allow your breath to happen don't force it just allow it to breathe as it wants to and it might be hard in the beginning it might be frustrating but that's okay just let it be So in this position with your back straight, your head tucked and your breath happening naturally in your nose, you should be able to relax. Not too much where you're slumping, but you can still be upright and be in a very relaxed state of mind. And from here, all you're doing is just allowing the body to breathe. I don't want to say focus on the breath because then that can become a very heady type of experience but in the beginning it might actually help so maybe you can start by counting one inhale and one exhale is one and see if you can count to 10 20 or even a hundred without your mind wavering it's going to be very hard in the beginning that's all right don't get frustrated but see how far you can go because that's a good indicator of how much your mind is on over overdrive you could say because ideally you should be able to count uh, pretty easily at least to 10 no problem right but most of us we're gonna have a hard time finishing because thoughts are gonna come in our body's gonna feel uncomfortable or something's gonna distract us but do not get um, frustrated and say oh meditation is not for me I can't even sit just practice for two minutes at a time and I, and I guarantee you that over time with practice, 
you'll be able to sit longer and longer. I suggest at least minimum 20 minutes because that's how long it takes for our brain waves to go into alpha. Normally our brain waves are in beta, which means we're always thinking, um, but alpha is that place of focus, concentration, um, not, not like focus and concentrating in a studying way, but in a very, like in the zone when you're running or playing sports and you get into that zone or you've been reading a good book and you're just in that zone, that's more of the alpha waves. And that takes on average 20 minutes, okay? So try to work your way up to that. Um, some people sit up to an hour, you know? It's really up to you, but minimum, I would say, try to sit for 20 minutes, all right? So go ahead and sit with your spine straight, arms relaxed, chest open, head slightly at an angle, Either close your eyes or open your eyes slightly. Take a nice big inhale, a couple of them. And just allow the breath to happen naturally through your nose. And we'll just sit here for about, for about a minute. And once the video ends, you can continue to sit longer or you can just rewatch this, you know, next time and keep practicing this short type of meditating.